New relationships can be exciting at the beginning, when it seems like all our fantasies are coming true right before our very eyes. But then again, after a while, things may happen that cause you to end the relationship, or the relationship seems to have lost its fire. When this happens, one prayer Christian singles pray is for God to help them move on from the person or relationship in question. Yes, some people are in a relationship while asking God to help them move on from the person they're with. They still feel emotionally attached to this person and don't know what to do or how to move on from them. When you're in a relationship or you've ended one but still feel this way, it might be a sign that God does not want you to move on from that person. Shortly, I'll share a few signs that confirm that God's not leading you to move on from someone, either one you're in a relationship with or one you're not with, but are struggling to let go of. But first, let me say that as a child of God, you need to believe that, just like God said in Jeremiah 29 11, His thoughts of you are thoughts of good and not evil, and He wants to give you a future and a hope. Also, no matter in what situation you find yourself, as long as you are in Him and are seeking His counsel for your life, all things are bound to work together for your good in the end. Therefore, you need to know that if God allowed someone into your life, He has a purpose for that. Sometimes, for example, single believers make the mistake of entering into a relationship with someone whom God sent to help make a specific contribution to their development. They put this person in a position that God didn't put them in, while the person continues to try and play the part that God assigned for them. The person may be making progress, but you may feel unfulfilled and confused about the situation unable to understand why they can't do the things you expect a partner to do. It's because maybe God sent them into your life for a different reason than just being a partner. Is this always the case? No, it isn't. This is, however, a point to help you understand that God does not allow people into your life except those He wants to use to bring some value to you. When God brings a brother or sister in Christ into your life, whether in a relationship or as a friend or colleague, and you want to move on from them, but find you're unable to do so. You have to ask yourself if God has a plan to execute by that association. You see, there are things God will do by Himself in a supernatural and spiritual way, but there are things that He will use people to do. If you walk away from such people, you may miss the impact they were sent to make and the opportunities involved. Therefore, one of your greatest blessings is to master or at least grow in your understanding of God's guidance in your life. If you're unable to follow God's guidance, you're going to keep allowing your emotions to deny you the diverse opportunities He presents through those He brings into your life. So what are the signs that He's leading you not to move on from someone? 1. When the person you're trying to run away from is a believer and challenges you to be the person you know God has called you to be, it's a sign that He's leading you not to move on from them. Each of us is a work in progress, and God is constantly working on ways for us to move from where we are to become someone better. Also, because of His purpose for us, God has made each of us uniquely different, and His dealings with us are unique to us. The Bible says in Proverbs 27:17, As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. This means that God's not going to come to do the sharpening Himself. Instead, the person in your life may be the tool God's using to do it. Instead of moving on, you need to sit back and ask yourself, am I seeking to move on because I don't want to accept or yield to the sharpening process God's working through this person? The truth is, the process of sharpening is challenging and painful. It challenges some long-standing values, habits, or comforts. Bits and pieces of your ego will need to be cut off. This is usually challenging when it comes from someone we may be attracted to. And because our flesh loves to remain at the same level or lower, our thoughts may just be to move on from them. What you need is to stay with them and let God use them to break and remold you into the person He wants you to be. You may not even marry this person tomorrow. However, if you let God use them to make you better, your marriage journey will be glorious. That a person is invested in pushing you into God's best for you is a sign that you should stay connected and not move on from them. They are valuable assets, 
especially in our world today, where people are afraid to challenge one another for fear of offending them. Do check and make sure you're hearing the voice of God and not your rebellious flesh. 2. You want to move on because of your fears and not because of their faults. Another sign that God's not leading you to move on from someone, especially when you share or have shared a relationship with them, is when you're tempted to run away because of your own deep fears. Most singles fall under this category. They pray for the right person in their lives, and when the right person comes, they run away because of their fears. Some fear that this person's too good to be true. Others fear that they're not good enough for this person and might be replaced later. Others are afraid that this person will act like the monster in their imagination based on their background or past experiences. These are just a few of the fears that plague most young people and keep them single. It might surprise you, but most young people act out and are single because of their fears which keep them from committing to anyone, even when they meet the perfect person. You need to know that if God brings someone into your life that seems to be more than you expected, it's His way of saying that His gifts are based on His love and not your state. And if you let Him, He can build and make you better. Sometimes the person God gives you may reflect the potential within you. For example, if you have an issue with telling lies and God gives you a partner who stands for truth, it's God saying that you can overcome that lying spirit and he wants to use that partner to inspire and challenge you. Running away from a healthy relationship with someone because of what someone else did to you is not always going to solve the problem. Your fears of repeating history may work for people with impure motives, but not for everyone. So once you confirm that this is your fear speaking, then know that God is leading you in the opposite direction. Because that's how fear works. It takes you in the wrong direction for God's will for you. Please note that you travel the marriage journey not by potential, but by present observations, measured according to the standard of God and His Word. If your fears are about marrying someone outside God's will and the person represents things contrary to God's standard by the Word, it's valid to move on because you're seeking God's interest in your life. This isn't calling us to judge people, but rather to weigh the spirits working around us so that we don't give the enemy room in our lives. 3. When your connection with someone seems confusing, yet you still have an unexplainably genuine connection to them, it may be a sign God is leading you not to move on from them. I must make this clear, that there are times in your life when God's guidance will appear confusing, including in your marital relationships. There will always come seasons in romantic relationships when one party doesn't feel as excited as they did when they began the journey. It doesn't mean God is done or has left you both, and it also doesn't mean He hasn't. However, you have to learn, like I pointed out earlier in the beginning of this video, to decode what God is saying and where He's leading. Don't be hasty to move on from someone simply because you're tired of having them in the gray area, whether it's a brother in Christ yet to process His love or a sister in Christ yet to give you an answer to your proposal. As long as God is involved, give it time and don't be hasty. Everything will fall into place. The fact that you don't know what to do about this person now may be the sign for you to stay a little while longer. Stay true to yourself and to your faith. Don't compromise or drive yourself out of God's will. There are many things to learn while you wait on God. Let the signs play out and hand them all to Him to guide you. And just as He promised, He will not leave you stranded where you aren't meant to be.